Hello and welcome to JMS Drums, a channel that is dedicated to cultivating and redefining what the worship drummer is. On this channel, we dive into what it means to be a worship drummer. So if you are new to the channel, yes, I am talking to you. Please consider subscribing. Today, we're taking a look into the song Everbe by Bethel Music. Let's jump in.
Ever Be is a very unique song percussion wise. Now I say that because there's a lot going on in the sense of percussion. If you listen from the beginning of the track all the way to the end, there is so much drumming going on. So much so that as a drummer, we have to utilize our ears and utilize our sense of, okay, what needs to be played? I believe that there might be maybe two or three sets of different tracks taking place. Some is literally nothing but toms. Other stuff is auxiliary and then the actual drum kit. So what you saw was what I would do on a Sunday morning. What is really unique about the drum parts that I chose was that there's a lot of movement around the kit, but there's also utilization of your rims, of your high tom, which is really cool because that actually sets you up for your drum fill into the next section, which I thought was really cool. And honestly, I thought that it was different from some of the other drum fills that we've learned in some of the other songs. The question I leave you with, I am a firm believer that God gave us our gifts and that we are supposed to be good stewards of those gifts. Whether it is singing, whether it is playing an instrument, guitar, drums, bass, any of those do qualify for this. I'm a firm believer that it is our job and it is our responsibility to continue to get better at them. It's our job, he gave it to us, so we need to steward those gifts. One thing that I am constantly trying to do is get better at getting a better sound out of my drums. One particular area, my snare drum. I'm trying to get better at getting a snare tone that is, I don't know, beefy, but also has a good cut throughout the mix. With that being said, the question I leave you with, do you use lug locks on your snare drum? What are your thoughts on them and why? Comment down below with your answers. I would love to hear your thoughts on this subject. If this video was at all helpful for you, please, please, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. It really does let me know if the content is helpful and if it's not, if it's not, I want to be a good steward of my gifts and get better at it. So please let me know. Thanks guys. And we will catch you on the next one. Man, my voice sounds really weird right now. <clears throat> we'll get some water.